like uh, like them all year. I mean, Valentine is uh, is really good. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to try a couple different things. And uh, it's hey, it's uh, late March. We're going to throw the kitchen sink at them. Thanks, coach. Good luck. Thank you. Well, it's certainly a tough team to guard against in Evansville with what they do offensively. Valentine from the outside had a first half 16 points with six of eight from the field. Egidius Miscavitis is the big guy inside. He hadn't really been a factor too much in this first half today with just two points, but he did have five rebounds. And for UT Martin, when Coach Schroyer took over, Rich, he said that we had to change culture. They were 345th in field goal defense last year. They've cut that number in half this year, playing much better. It started on the defensive end. They're going to have to do that in the full court today. Not allow Evansville to get the runouts that they got in the first half. Javel Smith had a great first half for UT Martin. He was five of eight from the field, all three point range, 15 points for their only player in double figures. And the shot clock is down to three. And short on the jumper was Chandler Rowe. We talked about that a couple times in the first half, experimenting with the 30 second shot clock. The NIT, the CBI, and the CIT here using that in the postseason for experimental purposes. Right, and we really haven't seen it affect the game at all. And I talked to Marty Simmons before the game about it. And he's like me. Maybe he's a dinosaur. He wants to go back to the 45 second clock. As we see Evansville score in transition. Now, he, as he mentioned, you shorten the, the shot clock and it changes some of the strategy and it takes it, takes it out of the coach's hands. And, I know everybody's talking about they want more scoring. Well, I, I have my own views on how to make scoring happen more, and that's guys get into the gym and work on their jump shot. More threes means more points. Evansville is picking up right where they left off the end of the first half. Adam Wing with 12 points, and that last bucket for the Purple Aces, perfect six for six from the field. Here's Miscavichus, and that's tough to stop for the 6'10 junior from Lithuania. Been a mainstay for this team, 97 start tonight, and has been the best rebounder in the Missouri Valley Conference for the last two straight years. He impacts the game in so many different ways. A terrific free throw shooter, and on his way to setting the all-time block shot record here as well. Howard blocked by the rim at the front. 16-point lead for Evansville, and Wing extends it to 18. He has yet to miss tonight. And another timeout by the Skyhawks, just two minutes and 10 seconds into the second half. Adam Wing, who was bothered early in the year by a bruised thigh, he has come back full speed, and he is going to knock it down. Evansville up 18. At full throttle. Navigate sharp turns and catch big air with the coolest racers in extreme sports. Strap in for Amazon Championship Snowcross powered by Ram. Sunday morning at 10, only on CBS Sports Network. At Subway, we begin with freshly baked bread, then combine tender turkey breast with robust, spicy, melty Italian favorites, adding a splash of our new Subway vinaigrette, the magnificent new Turkey Italiano Melt, only at Subway. At Enterprise, we hire more college graduates every year than anyone else. And many of us play college sports, too. From Bulldogs to Wildcats. Do we have spirit? Yes, we do. And we put it to work for you every single day. That's the Enterprise way. of a 131 zone and blow your mind with his unrelenting knowledge of ridiculous sports minutia. You damn right. The Doug Gottlieb Show, weekdays at 3 on CBS Sports Network. 
Largest lead of the night for Evansville now at 18, 52-34. We have a couple of CIT award finalists here tonight. The Hugh Durham Award presented annually to the top Division I mid-major college basketball coach and Heath Schroyer, the head coach of UT Martin, a finalist this year for that. Adam Wing for Evansville. As you look at this first, the Lou Henson Award presented annually to the top Division I mid-major college basketball player. And of course, DJ Ballantyne, a finalist for that award. A great job here tonight already with 16 points, but they are distributing the ball too. Adam Wing has gone seven for seven from the field tonight, Rich. He's got 14 points and Evansville has assisted on 17 of their 22 made baskets. So that is a Marty Simmons trademark. Adam Wing has gotten seven open looks as we see Gibson with his steal. Miscavichus was out of bounds on the baseline before he threw it off of the Skyhawks player. So it's UT Martin Ball. Gibson's going to knock it away, jumping into passing lane. And the big feet of Egidius right out of line. If he only wore size 12, he would have been in bounds. Those 17s caught him. Now, UT Martin is prolific from the outside, shooting the three-pointer. There is tons of time left in this game. Newell, make it DeVille Smith, has been awesome from the outside. Here's Newell now, and he is fouled on the baseline. So they have really even yet to get their best three-point shooter going here in the second half and giving him some looks, and that's Alex Anderson. He did hit two in the first half, so they have some people from the outside that can get back into this thing rather quickly. Well, they certainly do, but credit that to the Evansville defense. They're doing an outstanding job of knowing who the shooters are. And Valentine has drawn the assignment of Anderson. Fouls on Blake Simmons, his first. Offensive rebound blocked by Miscavichus on the Howard shot down low. Here's a three from Ballantyne. Count it. The inside-outside duo of Egidius and DJ. Egidius with his 200th block of his career, and DJ Ballantyne with another three. Ballantyne with three three-pointers tonight. 204 for his career. Offensive foul is called on Howard. This is an excellent job by Egidius as he blocks it, keeps his head up. Terrific outlet pass and Ballantyne. He's going to knock that one down all day long. Semifinal game number one of two here tonight as NJIT is set to take on Northern Arizona in Arizona coming up right after us here on CBS Sports Network. Another three, Ballantyne. Unreal. Tennessee Martin had switched into a 3-2 zone. You got to find Ballantyne, but I don't think they thought he was going to shoot it from that deep. Evansville wants to play Thursday night for the championship right here at home. They lead it by 24. Newell inside and taking contact with Martinez follows his own shot for two. A terrific stick to activity by Javier Martinez. Last game he was five for five from the floor. He's really given them a boost. And Mike, don't forget that this Tennessee Martin team lost Miles Taylor early in the season, a all-conference Ohio Valley player. And they have recovered very well. Uh-oh. Anderson hits a three and is fouled and a chance for a four-point play. Three points. It took them four and a half minutes to get their first second basket of the, the second ball. half. And then Anderson gets a three. He'll shoot a free throw when we return. We'll see if the Skyhawks can start to mount a comeback here. Semifinals from Evansville, Indiana. Back with more after this on CBS Sports Network. Strong can heal from miles away. Unite us for a common good. And turn a simple video into endless laughter. Strong can take you all the way to the summit. So cool! Think what Strong can do for you.
Can I play too? <laughs> she asked. AT&T's network now has the nation's strongest 4G LTE signal. Meat sticks? Yep. <laughs> nope. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Snap into a party. Snap into a Slim Jim. At Enterprise, we hire more college graduates every year than anyone else. And many of us play college sports, too. From Bulldogs to Wildcats. Do we have spirit? Yes, we do. And we put it to work for you every single day. That's the Enterprise way. North of the South, east to the West. From Idaho to the Bayou. And why do we lay? We're making a way. And making our way to the finals. Marinating the like some wine. The atmosphere and by the band. Our team and valuable lessons. The lessons forever and ever. Amen. Drink on the count. Lack of on D. I don't think it's my time. Then we're bringing that chorus around. It's the C-I-T on CBS. It's the C-I-T on CBS. It's the C-I-T on CBS. Emmonsville so far handling UT Martin, but they're starting a little bit of a mini run here. A basket and then a three-pointer and a foul for Alex Anderson, who, Rich, has been shooting 57% from three-point range over the last 15 games. And Dwayne Gibson commits the Cardinals' sin following the jump shooter. And Anderson, with great focus, concentration, absorbed the contact, still made the shot. And here's the scouting report from Angelo Lento at collegeinsider.com. Quote, he's not real big, but he can flat out shoot it. Big time long range threat. He's one of the best three point shooters. You can follow her on Twitter at, at College Insider. And there's no doubt about that, folks. He's third in the country shooting the three pointer at 48% from downtown. I talked to him earlier tonight, Rich. He shoots until he makes 500 three pointers, sometimes 1,000 every day. And if you're a young player, hear that, because that's how you become a prolific shooter like Anderson is. And oh, by the way, he's got one more year left. And you know, you mentioned the scouting report by Angela Lento. She knows mid-majors players better than anybody, and she has seen them all. So when she says he's a terrific shooter, believe it, he's a terrific shooter. Jalen Brown makes it a 20-point ball game. I asked Anderson, how long does it take you to make 500 three-pointers? He said about 45 minutes. But again, that's not a that's not a low day because he'll shoot to 1,000 some days. So, likes to watch Steph Curry and get his insight, interviews, watch film on him. Also learning to shoot over bigger players because he's obviously a very small guy out there, 5'11", 180. Here's Adam Wang, who's yet to miss tonight. That's his first. And it's out of bounds to UT Martin. Wing was seven for seven prior to that. Six minutes gone by, second half. UT Martin with the fourth best turnaround in the NCAAs this year, looking to tie a school record for wins at 22. If they can get this one here tonight, move on to the championship game versus the winner of NJIT at Northern Arizona after us tonight. Four to shoot on the experimental 30-second shot clock here in this tournament. Out of bounds with one left on the clock. To the point guard, Marshawn Newell, you got to make sure that your teammates know just one second left on the shot clock. Hey, don't move. Okay. Howard gets it off and puts it in. Just like they drew it up. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to be better to be lucky than good, but terrific sense of knowing just how much time he had left. Rosoya for Ballantyne. Wang with a tip. Adam Wang's career high is 18 points, and he has 16 here tonight. Like, think about what UT Martin does. They are a jump shooting team, and they make a lot of threes, but they're going to be contested because they don't have a post guy to throw the ball into to create an advantage-disadvantage situation. So credit the 
plays that are drawn up and their execution for their ability to get wide open looks. That's a great point. The biggest guy out there, Javier Martinez at 6'7". Also Chandler Rowe is 6'7". They really don't have an inside threat. Evansville just sent their big guy to the bench, Miscavichus, out for a breather. And a three-pointer goes up and in by Tamon Howard. And UT Martin within 17 here now. Still tons of time, 12 and a half left. Howard, another junior. He'll be back next year on the all-newcomer team. Jalen Moore and Blake Simmons checked in for Evansville during the last stoppage. And here's Ballantyne. Kicks it. Jalen Brown for three. That's good. That's when you know things are going right. Jalen Brown steps out, hits a three. Ball got knocked out off of Evansville on a substitution for the Skyhawks. Terrence Durham is back in. This is what I call the Ballantyne effect. Everybody is looking at DJ Ballantyne and ball watching. Brown slides to the open area, bangs the three. Newell. Knocks down a three himself, and Marshawn Newell. The only one to start every game this season, second most three-pointers on the team. With the transfers they brought in from Southwest Tennessee Community College. There's 10 newcomers this year for UT Martin and first-year head coach, coach Heath Schroyer. There's a three, and that one's good by Blake Simmons. Well, they're trying to make a run, but they can't go back and forth like this. It's back up to 20. Well, they're keeping Ballantyne from getting shots, but it's the other guys who have stepped up, Brown and now Simmons. Durham, nice drive to the hole, doesn't get it to go. Martinez, they'll call the foul. He'll have free throws when we come back. Just under 11 minutes to go in this second half of the semifinals of the CIT. Evansville at home leading UT Martin. You, my friend, recognize when a trend has reached critical mass. Yes, when others focus on one thing, you see what's coming next. You see opportunity. That's what a type E does. And so it begins. With E-Trade's Investing Insights Center, you can spot trends before they become trendy. E-Trade, opportunity is everywhere. I'll ride the highway. I'm going my way. I'll leave a story untold. We just keep sending more pictures. If you're a free-range chicken, you roam free. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to GEICO. It's what you do. Every minute of practice, preparing for championships, and you know what they say, we give what we give, we're giving our all. So when it is over, expect them. The world is our stage, we're ready to play. Rewarded today for investments. Focused on making progression. Come on, competing with all that we've got. I don't have pride, so don't be surprised when we rise like the sun and go up to the top. It's the C I. Purple Aces lead it by 20. They are 9 for 12 shooting here in the second half. Get your morning jolt with CBS Sports Network as Craig Carton and former NFL MVP Boomer Esiason give us their take on all the latest around the world of sports. Boomer and Carton weekday mornings at 6 Eastern only on CBS Sports Network. Mike, if you're Heath Schroyer and you're looking at this stat sheet, and you're saying, wow, we are shooting 10 for 21 from the three-point line. We got to be in this game. But then you look at what Evansville has done, and forget about D.J. Ballantyne. Yes, he's got 22. He's having an outstanding game. But Blake Simmons, three for three. Jalen Brown, one for one. All from the three-point line. It's hard to tell from the stat sheet, to be honest with you, that they would be down by 20 in this situation, now 19, as Terrence Durham 
makes the first free throw. Brozoya was called for the foul, his second for Evansville. But Evansville shooting, you know, pardon me, 68% from the field. And they're just hitting the open man and, and getting open looks as we see the 2 2 1 by Tennessee Martin as Valentine takes a three. Here we go, Anderson launching and connecting. Alex Anderson, the specialist from the outside. And hang on, 16-point lead for Evansville. Anderson now with four three-pointers, one behind his teammate Smith. And Mike, that's what a team wants you to do against pressure. Break the press and shoot a three instead of attacking the goal. We saw that last possession, Anderson gets it in conversion. 50% from three-point range now is UT Martin. Howard, got it. Howard. Evansville led by as many as 24. It is down to 14 and a steal. Newell for three. Anderson almost had that rebound. Brozoya comes down with it for Evansville. And if you're Evansville, you cannot settle for a quick jump shot. When you are up 16, 14 as they are now, you've got to run the clock, shift the defense, and don't settle. Simmons. And this is the free. Got a wide open look though that time. Had to take that one. That was the heat check. Anderson quick shot the other end. Doesn't go. Simmons has it. And almost threw it away. Jalen Brown. And the foul. That's what you do in transition when you break the press. You don't settle for the jump shot, you attack the rim, and Simmons' pass was so bad they couldn't steal it. And then Brown gets right to the rim in transition and a chance for a three-point play, but we're gonna see Adam Wing come back in the game, which is a smart substitution by Marty Simmons as he's a guy who settles this team down. 16 points for Wing. The foul was on Terrence Durham, his second. D.J. Ballantyne has 22 points to lead Evansville so far here tonight. Howard fakes a three, got the step, and is fouled by Jalen Moore. So free throws coming his way. UT Martin, their first Division I win in postseason history this year. Make it three as they're in the semifinals of this tournament. Coach Heath Schroyer, who you just saw right there, Prior to this year was the assistant at UNLV. And he did the same type of thing in this rebuilding process that he's doing here at UT Martin Rich that he did at Wyoming and Portland State as well, able to draw from those two places and bring it here. And to be able to change culture like that in such a quick and a short period of time, 13 more wins than last year with one of your top players injured and out for the rest of the season, a ton of credit goes to him and his staff this season. Oh, absolutely. You know, there are two types of coaches. There's maintainers and there's builders. Heath Schroyer is definitely a builder of programs. And they're going to go from being picked at the bottom last year, the o or this year at the OVC, to next year being picked near the top. See, they're in that 3-2 zone and wing almost with a bad pass. Turnaround jumper from Brown doesn't go. Rebound pulled home by Durham, and here comes UT Martin. Eight and a half to play, still a lot of time left. And the way they've shot the three-pointer tonight, there's a traveling violation. They have the opportunity to get back into it quickly. That's their 12th turnover this evening. Evansville also has 32 points in the paint tonight, so to go along with some of their three-point shooting, they have been outstanding down low. A lot of easy baskets. Anderson picks up his first foul for UT Martin. Or the third team foul in the second half. Number three, Alex Anderson. That's his first personal for team's third. 
Go yeah. back to the first CIT game for Tennessee Martin. They had a record, school record, 16 three-pointers. So they're capable. Uh, they are very capable, and they're capable from, of coming from behind, as they've done a number of times this year. The key for Evansville is to walk that fine line. You don't want to play not to lose, but you don't want to be too aggressive. Simmons and the fake. Blocked from behind. Nice job there by DeVille Smith. Smith gets it on the break, feeds it to Howard. And good reversal all the way over to Anderson, but he stepped out of bounds on the sideline. Evansville ball leading by 15. We'll be back with more semifinals of the CIT on CBS Sports Network after this. All around the world, there's children who are practicing. Last second jumpers in driveways, friends say that's a king. Richmond, their vision and dreams with them. Hooping on team scene, they're on the screen. Deep in the mark, selected a start, and just then. Like a like on deep, sticking together, believe. Taking the charge, coming from Bean. Town media down on us, we. CBS Sports now. Before they be another was Portland bound. He played on this court, and now. Think it's one time that we're bringing that course. So it's the CIT on CBS. Yes. Nice morning, Scott. Hi. At a morning of tiny voices crying out. Feed us. I don't understand. Your grass, man. It's a living, breathing thing. It's hungry. And you've got to feed it with Scott Stuff Builder. At a boy, Mikey. Two feedings now in the springtime. Strengthens and helps protect your lawn from future problems. Get Scott Stuff Builder lawn food. It's guaranteed. Feed your lawn. Feed it. And to keep crabgrass away all season long, get Scott's Turf Builder with Halt's Crabgrass Preventer. Carolina has a chance to win the game on the final possession. 74, 74, nine seconds to go. Miguel Paul's got the ball up top. Miguel keeps the dribble alive. Lebo says, go to the hoop. Here's Miguel with it. Gives it to Richmond. Three is up. And good! At the buzzer! At the buzzer! Hakeem Richmond hits the shot. Unbelievable! What a shot! Fifteen point advantage for Evansville here in the semifinals of the CIT tonight from the Ford Center. As we take a look at some of the CIT alumni, Damian Lillard from Weber State back in 2012. Back before he applied his trade in the NBA. And how about Travis Bader, the all-time three-point marksman from Oakland. And, but Alfred Payton at Louisiana Lafayette, a couple of years after their CIT run, he led the Raging Cajuns to the NCAA tournament. And now another guy in the NBA. And how about Cameron Payne, who had the racers in the NIT this year after last year playing in the College Insider Tournament. I think you're going to see him play a lot of basketball for a lot of years. Evansville back in the semifinals of the CIT for the second time in the last three seasons. They fell to East Carolina two years ago. This time they will try to make the championship game, which will be here at home if they can win tonight. Game two of our doubleheader in the CIT coming up NJIT at Northern Arizona right after us here on CBS Sports Network. NJIT, the, the story of college basketball. They upset. University of Michigan earlier in the season and Jimmy Angles, a hot young coach. Seven to shoot for the Purple Aces now. Simmons. Ballantyne. Tipped out to Jalen Moore, offensive rebound. Terrific stick to activity by Adam Wing. The only white jersey on the glass. Gives them a second chance. Evansville now 8 of 15 from three point range after Ballantyne had to hoist that one up. We get a whistle and an offensive foul called on Jalen Moore. Basket does not count as Moore picks up his second. And Coach Schroyer says, okay, we got a good stop at the defensive end. How about Terrence Durham? He sticks his whole body in front of Jalen Moore. I'm not sure I would do that. That's like a. A little uh, Mercedes Benz coming at you, but Durham takes the charge and gets the turnover. Three point shooting for UT Martin tonight, 11 of 24. Howard, 12 three pointer tonight for the Skyhawks. They're within 12. 
Howard didn't hesitate on that possession to come at Tennessee Martin comes at you with a different look in full court pressures. They trap in the backcourt that time and fall back into their matchup zone. Valentine. Movement without the basketball. If you're a young